It's time for our series, My Life Out Loud, where we let people share their stories in their own words. And this one, this one's pretty incredible. A man who is hoping that his own family history can help bring some healing to our country. My name is Shannon Lanier. Welcome to Houston. I'm a news anchor here in Houston, and I'm also a dedicated father of three rambunctious little Lanier's, and I am the husband to my beautiful college sweetheart, Chandra. I am the sixth great grandson of President Thomas Jefferson and the enslaved woman, Sally Hemings, that lived on his plantation. When I first learned about my family's history, I was just a kid. My mother, I guess, instilled in my brother, Sean and I, the importance of knowing who we are and being strong in the belief of who we are and don't let other people define us. And so that really helped with the belief of who I am and who my ancestors are and not to be swayed from the truth. When we first started meeting with the Jefferson and Hemings family together at Monticello, we've grown to accept and love each other as family. We've come together as people who have just extended family members, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We actually do get together for weddings, birthday parties, funerals, opportunities to celebrate each other and recognize each other as family. The Smithsonian approached me and said, we want to dress you up like Thomas Jefferson, your ancestor. It was almost like shining a mirror to America about our past and our current future of what our country has become because of slavery, that yes, this white president can now have nine generations later a black great, 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 great grandson, and that's me. I used to have very different feelings about Thomas Jefferson. For many years, I gave him a pass because he was a president. He's done many amazing and great things for this country. But now I'm looking at him as a grown black man with other, another lens, I should say, and really want people to see the whole aspect of who this man was, that he was a slave owner and that we need to recognize that he was a slave owner. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I think now is a perfect time to make Jefferson's words, all men created equal, really come true. Because when he wrote those words, it did not include slaves, it did not include black people, it did not include women or people that were not land owning white men. So now is the time, now is the day. It's up to each and every one of us to make those words ring true today. It is possible, but it's up to every single one of us to do it. America is almost like a melting pot or a jambalaya of all great things that if this family can come together and unify so can this country but it's going to take some time it's going to take talking it's going to take you know understanding education the ability to accept people that are different from you and the ability to hear someone to actually listen to their story listen to what they're saying and Think about someone else's life. Think about living in someone else's shoes and what their life is like. So many people want to assume they know one race or one ethnicity and know how someone lives, but you don't until you listen to them, until you hear them, until you understand them, until you judge each individual by their own character and not just as a group of people. So we need a lot of healing right now. I'm hoping my family can help be a catalyst for this healing.